How's it going 3D printers? Andrew Sink from 3D Central here, and today we're going to be installing this, the Lulzbot Flexi Extruder on a Lulzbot Mini. This upgraded tool head allows you to print inflexible filaments on your existing printer. And today, in just a few easy steps, we're going to go over how to install it, how to get it up and running, and how to print your first object using this flexible filament. You ready? Let's do it! Included in the package is a glue stick, a 4mm hex driver, a 2.5mm hex driver, some zip ties, a length of flexible filament, and the flexi extruder itself. The first thing you'll want to do is flip over the flexi extruder and take note of the E-step number written on the back. This number is very important and you'll need it for the very last step of the installation process. Record this number by writing it down somewhere and don't lose it. Raise your Z-axis all the way to the top, then turn off your printer and unplug the power cable. Using the 2.5mm hex driver, unscrew the two screws that secure the connector cover to the carriage. Once unscrewed, remove the connector cover from the carriage. Using a pair of scissors or wire cutters, Cut the two zip ties that secure the wire harness to the carriage. Now, unplug the tool head connector from the wiring harness. To remove the existing tool head, we're first going to remove the bottom of the three screws holding it in place. Make sure you have a firm grasp on the existing tool head before you remove these screws, so it doesn't fall and damage the glass build plate. With the bottom screw removed, now remove the top two screws to completely remove the tool head from the carriage. The tool head should lift off with no resistance, but make sure not to drop it onto the glass build plate. Installing the flex extruder is very similar, but following a lot of the same steps in reverse. First, mount the flex extruder onto the carriage. First, install the top two screws, but only tighten them loosely, just to mount the extruder to the carriage. Don't tighten them all the way yet. Now, install the bottom screw, making sure that this screw is fully tightened. Now, go back and tighten the top two screws holding the flexi extruder to the carriage. Making sure that the pins line up correctly, plug the wiring harness connector into the flexi extruder connector. Using the included zip ties, connect the wire harness to the carriage, pull them tight, and then clip off any excess zip tie that might be sticking out. Now it's time to install the connector cover over the connector, making sure not to pinch any wires when you do this. Once it's lined up correctly, use the 2.5mm hex driver to screw it down. And that's it! Now your Flexi Extruder is installed. Making sure that you have the latest edition of Lulzbot Cura software, now it's time to update your tool head in the software. Select Change Tool Head and click Lulzbot Mini with Flexi Extruder. And that's just about it. There's only one more step you need to do. For E steps per 1mm filament, Type in the number that was written on the side of your flexi extruder from the first step of this process. And now you're ready to go! Your flexi extruder is calibrated and ready to print. Now we're going to heat it up to 220 and we're going to hit retract to get rid of the sample filament that was initially in the extruder when it shipped. The filament retraction process can be a little bit slow, so wait until the filament is completely withdrawn from the extruder before you try and remove it. Once the filament has been removed, reverse the process, clicking extrude and gently pushing the filament in until you feel it tug you should see the filament flowing freely from the nozzle. Next, find your glue stick and place a thin layer of glue evenly across the bed. This will prevent your part from sticking to the bed and damaging the PEI surface. Now, we're ready for our first test print. 
For the first test print of our Lulzbot Flexi Extruder, we decided to print out the open source hardware logo as a flexible keychain to show our support for Lulzbot's commitment to producing open source hardware. Here's a time lapse of it printing. Using the knife originally included with our Lulzbot, we can carefully remove the part from the bed, being careful not to cut ourselves or the PEI platform. And here's the finished product. As you can see, it's tremendously flexible and it can even be folded completely in half. For a small, flexible item, this is a really great application of what you can print in NinjaFlex. The things you can print with this material are really limitless and we're excited to see what we're going to come up with and what our customers are going to make with this really cool technology. Great! Now you know how to install the Lulzbot Flex Extruder on your Lulzbot Mini. If you have any questions about this process, go ahead and leave those in the comments below. And if you want to order a Lulzbot Flex Extruder for your Lulzbot Mini, you can find the link to buy one in the description box from our website. You can actually buy it from us. 3D Central is the Lulzbot reseller. If you have any general 3D printing questions, you can always reach us on Twitter at 3D Central VA. We're pretty helpful guys. We love talking about 3D printing. We literally do it all day long. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to this channel for more 3D printing build videos, projects, reviews, techniques, all kinds of general 3D printing stuff. And as always, thanks for watching and have fun printing.